today we're going to talk about the most important form that you need after joining Scouts. Hey, Scouter Stan, let's talk about the most important form that you need to have filled out and ready, uh, especially with new Scouts. This is kind of a big surprise. It is known as the BSA medical form. Now this medical form is filled out uh, by two separate people and there's, there's three forms. So it's very important that you think about all the different aspects of scouting and all the activities that we do. Uh, this is something that we have to have on hand. Now the form is divided into three parts, A, B, and C. Very important. Now A and B are actually filled out by the scouter if you're an adult or the scout's parents or guardian. They need to fill out A and B. B has two parts, so part one and part two of B. All of that needs to be filled out for every scout or scouter has to have at least that part of it filled out. Now, every unit will have a way of maintaining those records, and uh, we're going to get more into that, but it's important to understand that this is an essential form when joining a unit. They need to have this form uh, filled out uh, as soon as possible. Now, this also will need to be updated annually. Now, Part A of the medical form is really a consent and acknowledgement of basically the risk that could occur in scouting. Um, this is what um, is absolutely needed. Every single unit should have this on file. Now, B is a little bit different. That actually has to do with medical condition. All of the different things that are, that are on the form need to be addressed. And this is very important. We need to know uh, medical condition or uh, even allergies. We need to know these things uh, in scouting. And that needs to be part of your annual um, renewal type of thing. You need to make sure that this is kept up to date. Now, Section C is a little bit different. This is filled out by your physician or your physician's assistant, a registered nurse, or a nurse practitioner. Now, this section is required if you plan to do an outdoor activity for more than 72 hours. This is also very important if you're planning on doing some of the high adventure activities that are available in scouting. A lot of scouters out there often refer to the addendum that's added to the medical form uh, as D. So you have your A, B, C, and D. The D part really is the high adventure addendum. That's if you're going to be going to any of the high adventure bases, Felmont, Northern Tier, the Summit, Sea base. If you're going to those things, they have their own addendums that are added on. And those have to be part of your medical record. Now that is critical information that your physician or your practitioner needs to know when they're filling out Form C to make sure that everything is good to go as far as your physical, physically able to do the high adventure and any limitations that might also be uh, needed to be considered uh, when you're doing a high adventure thing. That's super important to look at those addendums if you're planning on going on those high adventure. Now there are activities such as the Jamboree and um, there's, there's many different things that can go on with that if you go into NOAC. Those are also considered high adventure and there may be addendums that are added. Now this is also addressed in on part A. That's what's so interesting about it. There's a sign off on those addendums that are added on for those different activities that a scout might be involved in. Now it's very important to keep in mind that the medical forms do fall under HIPAA regulations. 
That means that adult leaders and authorized personnel that need to refer to this form need to keep it confidential and private. Those that have those medical forms have to maintain their security. And that is very important uh, because you're dealing with an entire unit's medical record. Now, some units even go as far as having folders that each individual has their um, forms in. So that is super important that they are kept in folders or they're kept in uh, the file folders, those little see-through plastic things that can go in a ring binder. That is a wonderful way. As soon as that has expired, that form needs to be destroyed, shredded, put away, so that it is no longer available for view, okay? And that keeps it private and secure. Now, before we go any further, I do want to invite you to our monthly meeting. It's on the first Sunday of each month, and it's at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. So you're more than welcome to join us and ask questions and, and just have fun. You know, that's one of those wonderful things about that meeting. I also want to thank everybody on Patreon for their continued support of our channel and our channel members. You can be a channel member. You hit the join button and join up. There's all kinds of badges and emojis and different things. They even get the videos uh, exclusively for themselves, ad-free, which is an added bonus. And then, of course, if you don't want to join in and do a monthly donation, you could always do a one-time donation by hitting the thanks button. So get involved. I really do appreciate all that you do in scouting and here on the channel. Now, it's critical to make sure that there is a scout leader that's been designated to keep control of those medical records. These need to be updated every month. They need to be looked over and to make sure they're up to date. Uh, they're only good for one year, and that leader needs to have them available if there's an emergency. Now that's important to let others know within the adult leadership who has those records. That is very important. There should always be someone on every activity that has those records. They're just as important as your first aid kit. Now I do want to mention that digitizing this information may be a problem. There's often with electronics there's a problem with uh, custody. Who has that in their control? When it becomes electronic, who knows? And that's an issue. Uh, you don't want to be a problem with HIPAA violations. Um, so you, a physical copy, a book, I know it's old school, but it is the safest way to maintain control of that information. It has to stay private and confidential so important. You don't want to have problems with that. So if it's electronic, you don't know who has a copy of those electronic documents. That could be a problem. So when, if you receive an electronic problem uh, form, make sure that it is deleted. And that, then, of course, make sure that that is deleted. <laughs> it's, computers are strange, okay? So, uh, but that is one of those things. You have to maintain that control. You have to make sure that it's printed out and whatever it came from needs to go, okay? That needs to be taken off of whatever computer, thumb drive, whatever it's given to you on. So that's the important bit. You need to make sure that it stays safe and secure. And having that printed document is far easier to have control over that than it is for something that's electronic. Now, this annual med medical form is very important. We need to make sure that it is kept private and secure and available to whoever is taking over that position of medical officer. That is super important uh, that they can have those documents when they need them. So when you go canoeing or camping or mountain climbing or go hiking, 
there has to be somebody in that group that has those documents. Super important. Uh, there are events that are individual, such as things at your local camp for the Order of the Arrow. They often tell scouts and scouters to keep their medical form in their pocket, and that way it's private and secure individually. So that's a, that's a way of handling that situation. So that way if they do get injured, they have the information. It's right there. So that is super, super important so that when something does happen, you can do something about it. That is really important. Now, I want to thank you for taking the time to think about your medical records for your unit, that, that those are kept private and secured. Um, that is the big message of this video, uh, is to make sure that you keep track of this. They only last a year. After that, they're no longer any good, and they need to be destroyed and put away. Private and secured information that way. So always keep that in mind. We do so much for our scouts. This is just one more thing that the unit has to do in order to stay safe and uh, have adventures. That is, that is the key. Uh, without this information, you shouldn't be doing those, <laughs> those kinds of things. Um, you need to have that safety. Now, if you think about it, there's, there's a video over here about safety. So definitely check it out. Until next time, I'll see you on the trail.